So in this video, we're going to show how BCP can be used in order to support a budgeting process run entirely inside of Excel files. So what you're looking at is the installer file that everyone would download and use in order to install the client on their desktop. Once they've completed that, then they click on the download template button and it would ask you to log in saying, you know, who are you as a user? And I say, well, I'm, I'm this particular user. And it says, here are the different budget templates or the different process templates that are available to me. One is the sales forecasting one, which we showed in a different video. And now we have the budget admin one. Now, this whole process can be replaced with going and accessing the templates from SharePoint um, or another place in terms of being able to access the actual data or the file to start with. But all the data is managed at a cell level using the BCP database. So if I say go ahead and download that, it goes and grabs the, uh, the template from the server, uh, brings it down, loads it up with the information that can be used in order to support the process of collaborating between multiple users running a budgeting process. Once the download is complete, it'll open up with an instructions tab where you can read about how to actually run a process. But the main data is on the budget plan tab itself. And you can see here that this is a typical budgeting process where you've got different managers that you'd like to be able to collect data from. Then you have different cost elements. And it's important to note with BCP that you can have cost elements that vary by department. So it doesn't have to be the same cost elements for each department. But what you want to be able to do is run a process where you're collecting information from manager one, manager two, manager three across any time period. And the time period, of course, is showing you January actuals and January budgets rolling up to quarterly numbers. Well, in order to run this process as the manager, I'm going to be seeing all of the information, but I want individuals to be providing input, i.e. somebody is responsible as manager one and somebody is responsible as manager two. So if I go over to the admin tab, I have the opportunity to invite another user to be able to be involved in the process. So if I say, go ahead and select a new user, and now I'm going to say BW user, and I'm going to say um, number two, and I'm going to say this is BW manager, actually not manager, BW user November 2nd at Gmail dot com and I say submit that to the database oh. number, uh, BW user um, so now I'll go ahead and in invite a second user and I'll say user and I'll say number two and I'll say the login for this person is BW user November 2nd at gmail.com. So now what happens is, is this person gets invited and sent an email, and the email that they're sent contains a temporary password that they can use in order to interact with the system. So I'll go ahead and say, go ahead and sign this user up, or if they've already an existing user, then they'll be invited simply for a second process. And the system does all this work automatically to add this person and send an email to them to have them be invited. Now the only thing I'm going to do before I switch roles and assume the role of this other person is I'm going to go ahead and apply access control. And what access control means is that I'm going to go back and leverage the column called manager in the budget plan, which is this one right here, and say, you know what, I only want to set it up so that this user sees the data values for manager one. So BCP has this positional database that gives you the ability to say only show certain rows to certain users. So once I set that up and say apply access, then this is set up in the database so that only this new user sees the rows where manager one is applied. So now I go back to the installer file and I'm going to assume the role of the other user. So if I say download template again, and now instead of the BW manager, I'm actually the BW user and then I say I want to be able to download this information then I also am now able to see as the user for this process the budget show up so when I go say download this budget template it goes and grabs that and brings it down from the server so I can work with it once the downloads completed it also opens up to the instruction page and I can come over to the budget plan and now you'll see here that 
the budget information that I'm seeing as budget manager or the budget user is only manager one because of the access control that I set up. So I can go ahead and save this file. Then I can say, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and put in my budget information for this, this uh, beginning year. So I'll say, you know, my, my budget for salaries is actually going to be 85000 um, and I'll just say that, that you know, that's going to be the number for these months. And then maybe I'm going to put a formula in here. So I'm going to say I want to be able to take, you know, this value and I'm going to give this person, you know, a raise. So this is things that people do all the time with Excel. And then I'm going to say my, uh, this actually is going to be probably $5,000. And um, I'll put a comment in here saying, uh, you know, for this, um, need more staff. Now that I've completed these updates, I want to be able to share this with the budget manager. So what I do is I simply click on the submit button. And what submit does is it looks at the information that's inside of this Excel file and it asks me for an update. And I say, you know, my changes for this month. And then it pushes this change back to the database so that the budget manager is able to see the change that's submitted by me by the department manager. And of course, all I'm seeing is the data for my department. So I'm able to only control that information. So now if I say, OK, well, let's close this file out and uh, go back up and open up the file as the manager, close this one as well. And that other file was called the budget admin. So if I say this guy right here, and now I come back and say, OK, well, you know, I want to see those changes that were done. If I click on first of all a status then I can say let me log in as the manager and when I log in as the manager it, it'll tell me what changes have been done to the budget since the last time I opened up this file and say hey look there's been a change that's been done and it's a missing update in my file so if I now say go grab that and bring that into my file then the changes that I just did as that user assuming the role of manager one come into my file and this information gets updated automatically. So in this case I'm going in and I'm saying well here are my actual amounts for this. This is how much we sold. And then even here you're seeing that I added a formula where it's calculating the previous amount and bringing it in plus I'm having this information come in. And not only that but you can come in and say show me a history of this. And in this case there's not going to be any other history except this one cell that I put in. But you can say show me the changes for this cell and when it was done over time and there's a complete history of all the updates that are done on a cell by cell basis. And of course this process would be the same across multiple departments with the manager seeing a consolidation of all this data automatically coming into their file but the individuals only working with the rows that they're supposed to see. So BCP can be used to support many collaborative processes in your company including the budgeting example that we've just shown in this demo. Thank you.